CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a mixed wireless and wired system. And pardon the mess, but this is our testing desk that we've been using for about 15 years, so it's heavily used. A lot of people call us and ask us about, hey, can you set up a mixed wireless and wired system? You certainly can, and this one is actually a primarily a wireless system. So if you look at this NVR, it just has two antennas sticking out of it and no PoE ports in the back. When you look at it, you can't tell how many cameras it supports. Well, it supports eight cameras, four wireless and four wired. But then how do you connect wired cameras to it? I'm going to show you how in this video. So if you have a need for an outdoor or indoor camera system with some wireless and some wired, this is it. So that NVR, the antennas are talking wirelessly to these four wireless cameras that we've configured already for our customer here. This is an actual order going to a customer and this is, we took this opportunity to make an overview video to show you how, what you can do for yourself as well. So these four cameras are plugged into power but the transmission isn't through any cable. If you look at it, there's no data cable. There's no Cat5 cable connected anywhere. It's only the black powered cable. This is a power cable. That's a power supply that would connect to your 110 outlet. So they're talking back to that NVR and sending this signal right here. All right. Now, four are wireless and two are wired. Let me show you how they're connected. They're connected to a network switch right here. And this network switch has is a poe and it's connected to these two cameras right there and they're able to talk through that poe switch through this router and follow that blue cable into the nvr so while this is just an overview to show you what you can achieve the next part of this video is just going to show you how to set it up and you know what you can ex expect from the system itself but everything seems to be working fine. And I'm gonna show you by waving my hand in front of the camera. I'm gonna tell you when I'm waving my hand, if there's any delay. I'm waving my hand now. So there's about a millisecond delay. Now, all right, so you see that? So what you can expect from wireless cameras is that there is gonna be some lag over wireless. Even with wired, there is some sort of lag. So this is a wired camera. It's pigtail, as you can see here, it has an RJ45 connection on it. That's the PoE. It plugs into my switch that gives it power and data. The camera cable comes here and connects there. The switch connects there. The black one is coming from the switch into the router. And then the blue cable goes into the NVR. That's how the NVR is able to talk to these cameras through these devices. The lag on those is less. So I'm actually waving my hand in front of it right now. And I'm going to show you what the delay you can expect. Now. Now, it's actually less than the wireless cameras. And that's because the medium that you're sending the, the signal through, it's a wired medium. Well, thanks for watching this. Now stay tuned for a more detailed explanation of how to set everything up. And so you can learn more about how to set up the system yourself. So this is gonna be an in-depth view of how to set up a hybrid system. Hybrid system meaning we do have the wired NVR with the wireless cameras and then a router connected to a PoE switch that has wired cameras. That's how it's in a hybrid system. So it's wireless cameras with a wireless NVR, router, wired cameras over a PoE switch. And in the overview, my colleague goes over some of the neat things that you can expect from this type of system. As I mentioned, this is gonna be a more in-depth video on how to set this type of system up. So first, you're actually gonna to wanna to power up your NVR. We're always going to configure this equipment for you before it ships. In fact, we test everything right here on this desk on video before it does ship. So, as I mentioned, you're gonna first boot up your NVR, power it on. You're gonna to wanna to connect your ethernet cable to your router to make sure you get connectivity in a local network from your NVR to your, local, your router there. That's what sets up your wired portion of this system. Of course, you have your HDMI cable that's gonna to go to your monitor if you have one for this type of system. Otherwise, you'll be accessing the system through the app using the Wi-Fi router. And then this is your mouse. And last but not least, of course, you've already powered it on. So that's your connections in the back of the NVR here. 
The second step, you're gonna actually wanna power up your Wi-Fi cameras. We recommend doing this on a bench test first just to make sure you familiarize yourself with the system and you know how the system works by following this video. So here you see I have four power supplies. I have one, two, three, and then over here on this other power surge protector, I have the fourth power supply. So as I mentioned, you're gonna first power up your NVR, get your NVR up and running and you may see blank screens where it says network host not found or things like that. And if you see that after powering your cameras on, then you're, what you're gonna to wanna to do is right click and go to wireless pairing. So again, if you see any network host not found errors or anything like that after first booting up your system and then powering your cameras on, then you are gonna to wanna to right click and click the wireless pairing button. What that's gonna do is tell the NVR and cameras to look for one another and pair back up. So then you should see your images slowly start to appear. Now you will wanna give your cameras around three to five minutes to finish booting up before you click the wireless pairing button. And if you're lucky, they will automatically pair and you won't have to click that wireless pairing button. Uh, so that's it for the wireless cameras. So again, just to recap, we have our Wi-Fi NVR. We powered that on first. We connected all of our connections here and then we powered on our Wi-Fi cameras. If we needed to, we did click the wireless pairing button. Now that leads me back to this ethernet cable that is running from the wireless NVR that has a, its own Wi-Fi network to this Wi-Fi router. As I mentioned, this is going to create our wired network. So here we have lights on the router, so we have a ton of activity between port one and two that I have plugged in and connected here. You can use any of the ports on the back here except for the blue port. Now that's if you have an internet connection. In this particular setup for this customer, they don't have an internet connection. It's completely local or standalone network. And in fact, you can use th this equipment without the internet. You do not need an internet connection. You can use this at a gate uh, that's commonly used at uh, HOAs, uh, you know, communities, gated communities, um, parking lots, things like that. These are standalone systems without the internet. If you did have the internet, you would plug your modem cable into this blue port and then you would have internet for the system and you would be able to view it remotely. Uh, here for this system, you can use the app using the Wi-Fi network that this system creates. If you get this system from us, uh, if you're interested in a system, you will receive a configuration document with all of this information for you to easily access the system. So again, I just wanna recap. I have this Wi-Fi router here connected to the Wi-Fi NVR creating my little local area network. And then last but not least, I do have this black cable running to my PoE switch. Now my PoE switch has four ports on it. You can use, uh, in a, a larger system, you could use a larger PoE switch. However, this is just an eight channel NVR. So we have our four wireless cameras here, and then we could add up to four wired cameras. So here we only have two cameras in view. So. You're gonna, just a quick overview, you do have your ports here. So we have the cameras connected to ports three and one. So here's one and three. And then here on the side, we have what's called our LAN ports or uplink ports. So again, this black cable, it is running back to our router. And then these cameras, as I just mentioned, are connected to the PoE switch. So PoE is power over ethernet. So it's providing power and data all over the same cable. Uh, so again, just to recap, we do have this black cable running from our router to our PoE switch, PoE switch from the PoE switch to the cameras. And then essentially all we have is created a local area network for our cameras. And this is how a hybrid wireless and wired system works. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.